There are moments that make murderers of us all. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Hello. Bye. No one is safe from the worst that they can do. Cracks can open in the most ordinary life and swallow anyone at all. All it takes is a good reason and a bad day. Everyone is a murderer. You just have to meet the right person. I promised you last week that I'd be delivering some of my best of 22, and this is absolutely my favourite uh, and the best international drama of 2022, no question. This is Inside Man on Netflix. It stars, as you saw in the trailer, David Tennant, and Stanley Tucci, it's a real small cast. They keep it really tight, and, and I think we benefit from that. Stephen Moffat writes masterfully, and, and uh, I've got to tell you, this is a masterclass in plotting across just four episodes to tell this incredible tale. Uh, David Tennant plays Harry Watling, who is an English vicar living a fairly normal life with a lovely wife and a teenage son. His son happens to be played by Moffat's real life son until one decision one day changes the rest of his life um stanley tucci is a former criminology professor named jefferson grief who is on death row for the violent murder of his wife and these are two separate tales that we we learn to be are inextricably linked even though it's not revealed until like the last half of the final episode how how one's in england and one's in jail in america how are they connected they don't know each other it's it's a a, a bloody amazing tale and i have to tell you i spent the the last episode pacing our lounge room out of anxiety because so much had gone wrong and so much had happened and i just didn't know how this would wrap up i had no idea about all of the things and what how they would be connected and what it would look like why how are these two separate stories going to come together they do but not probably in the way that you think and it's it's delightful though i definitely had an anxiety headache by the end of it it's a delightful series to watch if it's any indication i watched it with my wife and my lovely wife she is not a fan of binging things necessarily we got through this as quickly as we could. We just had to get into, we couldn't let it sit. And of course we are questioning the moral and ethical decisions made around some of the things that happen on screen. Would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you not this? Yet logically some of the, the steps are just, well, yes, if you do make that decision, that's going to be the decision that happens next. And it doesn't make it better. <laughs> it makes it worse. And that's that's why... I found Inside Man just riveting, absolutely incredible. This is a BBC and Netflix co-pro that snuck under many people's radars last year. Do not let it slip under yours. It's four hour long episodes. There are four, so many surprises. I would recommend that you probably take a break between each episode just to catch your breath. Because if you pay attention, you'll notice you hold your breath through large chunks of this episode because uh, of this series because that's what it does to you it's absolutely the best international drama of 2022 for mine oh that's inside man on netflix and my goodness gracious it is so good all four episodes of inside man are on netflix right now 